Hi, and welcome to bestbloggertemplates.net. This is Paul Crow here, the author of bestbloggertemplates.net, and in this video we're going to show you how you can create any template from our template gallery here, download it and upload it and use it on your blog. This template or this video is specific for Firefox users, so if you're a user of the Firefox browser, you can follow the steps and you should have no trouble. Because across the browsers, using if you're using Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, there are a couple of differences to the process of using the custom template. So if you follow these steps, you should have no problem. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of the templates we have here, upload it onto a test blog which I have right here. So we're on the home page of bestbloggertemplates.net here. If I scroll down, we'll see all the most recent templates. And we'll stop on one, we'll stop on this one here. And we can see a screenshot of the template. There's the options to, to demo. Let's have a click, quick click on the demo and have a look at it. So there's a demo of what it's going to look like when it's on our blog. We have the download, which obviously starts to download, and you can share the template on your social networks. There's also an info and instructions link here for more help. So let's click download and start the download process. When we click download, we're going to get this small download window with the option to save. Now sometimes when you click download, the file will actually be on a file host website. So when you click that, you may be brought to a site like box.net, but on that page you'll see another uh, link to download. Once you click that, you will get this box and follow the steps from there. So we're on save files, let's click OK. And as we're using Firefox, we will get this downloads window pop up with our download here. Now what we want to do is usually when you get a download like this, you would left click, so you would click the way you normally do on your computer or on your mouse, um, and you would left click through. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to right click. So on your mouse or on your laptop, you can click the right hand side button. So when we click the right hand side button, we'll get a little pop up like this, a little menu. And what we want to click is open containing folder. So we're going to click that and we'll open the folder here that contains the file that we just downloaded. Okay, so now you can actually left click, double click on this. And we'll come through to this page here. Now this page may look different depending on which template you've downloaded and what information is in the download. Um, you can see here all the images are include, included and on the end you have the XML document. But you don't have to worry about that because at this stage we still have to extract or unzip the file. And this is very important. So you can see up here we have the extract all files button. Um, and this is on Windows 7. On Windows Vista, it's up here. Windows XP, it's down along the left-hand side. But you should see it, whatever system you're using. So let's click Extract All Files. This tells us it's going to show the files are complete. Why not? And let's just click Extract on the bottom. And up it pops with all the files extracted. Now, the files right now are ready to be used, and it's ready to be uploaded onto our blog. And the last thing we want to do is we want to remember whereabouts this is saved because we're going to have to go look for it in a minute. And if you look in the address bar, you can see here in downloads. So we know now that this is saved in our downloads folder. And so we're happy enough with that. We know we have it saved, we have it extracted, it's ready to use, and it's in our downloads folder. So let's close these windows because we won't need them anymore. Let's go back to our test blog. And I'm going to click design here in the nav bar. You can click it in your dashboard if you're on your blogger dashboard. And click the edit HTML link. And we're now on our templates HTML where we can start the process of uploading our template to our blog. So when we're on this page, we simply click the browse button. And that will open up um, a number of options. And luckily enough for us, it's gone directly to our downloads folder, as you can see up here. But if it did open up the pictures folder, for example, you can just click downloads. Um, so once you remember where it is, you can just click your the folder where you know you saved it on the left hand side. So as I say, in our downloads we have the zip version, which we don't want. We have the unzipped version. You can tell the difference by the thumbnail has a zip on it, and this thumbnail has no zip in it. So let's click through. As I said, they've saved the images here. What we want is the XML document, which is down here, and you'll always know the XML document by that thumbnail. That's the thumbnail that will be used. So let's double click on that. It's gone in here, so we can click upload. And we get one more step now, which gives us the option to save or delete the widgets we have in our blog. So these are the widgets and gadgets you'll have in your sidebar and footer of your blog. Um, you may want to keep them. Um, I'm just going to delete them because as a demo blog, I don't have too many things or too many widgets uh, on the sidebars. So that's saved. And when we click View Blog, we will see our test blog using the template we just downloaded. And looks very good. And that's it. So that's the steps to download and upload and use a custom template on your blog while using the Firefox browser. If you follow them steps, you should have no trouble at all. So thanks for watching.